Welcome to Loyal TV. In Lawton, Oklahoma, the legacy of Buffalo soldiers continues to stand tall. Join us as we learn more about their historic contributions. They survived under almost impossible odds. They had absolutely no firearms experience. Slaves are not allowed to have weapons. When they got to their unit, it was on-the-job training. The train would not slow down for you to get on. You had to catch up. But it did take long before the African warrior that was asleep inside of these former slaves woke up. At the end of the Civil War, when there was a shortage of young men to enter into the, the upcoming Indian Wars, African Americans were emancipated and free. Congress passed uh, a law enlisting six regiments of uh, African American men into the regular army. It was four regiments of infantry and two regiments of cavalry. The main Buffalo soldier has uh, been bounced around from time to time. The research tells us now that at the Battle of Prairie Dog Creek in 1867, a combined force of Kiowa under White Bear, uh, Santana, and uh, Northern Cheyenne under the Chief Roman Nose attacked a company of the 10th Cavalry. When the company commander took half of his company, which would have been about 24 men, and charged them, and, each, and he charged a group of Native Americans that was maybe a couple of hundred. It shocked them, they were surprised, the audacity. The Native Americans that had been captured, uh, that were wounded, wanted to know about these black men. And they were first called wild buffaloes. And later, that changed to buffalo soldier. They were active here at Fort Sill from 18 and 69, when they came here and started construction of the, the buildings, all the buildings on the old post quadrangle to include this building, the post commander's quarters, all the quarters here on the hill. But it took them until the early 1870s to construct all of the buildings. And the first man to be buried in the post cemetery was a black man, Trooper Jesse Bickle of M Company. The first African American to be an officer in the United States Army was not only stationed here, was responsible for the engineering of the sanitation ditch that has become a national monument. There are numerous situations where black soldiers were more than outstanding in the performance of duties here at Fort Sill. However, the Buffalo soldier time period came to an end approximately in, in the beginning of World War II in 1944, thereabouts, uh, when we lost the horse and became mechanized. Little by little, they're now being added back into the history books. And now, especially around Lawton, I can put this uniform on, but children of all different races immediately recognize me as a Buffalo soldier. I belong to an organization called the 9th and 10th Horse Cavalry Association. But Lawton has the only chapter in the state of Oklahoma. Lawton also has the only Buffalo soldier statue in the state of Oklahoma. Now we're understanding that these were just young black men trying to get a start who succeeded as professional soldiers. And I believe the major reason they succeeded is because maybe when you're on the absolute bottom, an inch up is progress. Don't forget to return next week to learn more about our fascinating Oklahoma communities here on Loyal TV.